another class of Bangladesh and Global Studies. Welcome to the session on Bangladesh and Global Studies. On Chapter 1, The Political Movement in East Bengal and the Rise of Nationalism. Dear students, let's enjoy a music. My dear students of class 9 and 10, can you recognize the music or can you recognize the picture you are seeing on the screen? Yes, you are absolutely right. Our today's session is on language movement. From today's session, students will be able to explain the language movement, the background of language movement the incident and result of language movement, the significance of language movement. First of all, let's see what is language movement. The movement that took place by the people of East Bengal to protect the Bangla language and culture from the grip of the government of West Pakistan in 1952 is known as the language movement. Now, let's see the background of language movement. The background will be started from 1937. In 1937, the Governor General of Pakistan, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, proposed Urdu as the official language of the Muslim League. But one of the veteran readers of Bengal, named Shwede Bangla A.K. Fozlul Haq, protested against it. In 1947, in 17th May, Chaudhuri Khalik Uzzaman, and in the same year in the month of July, Dr. Jiyoddin Ahmed, who was the Vice Chancellor of the University of Aligarh, again proposed Urdu as the state language of Pakistan. In 1947, Dr. Mohammad Shuidullah and Dr. Inamul Haq and some other intellectuals protested against it. In the month of September, a cultural organization named Tamadun Moslish was formed that was headed by Professor Abul Qasem in September 2, 1947. In December, Rastrobhasha Shangram Purishod was formed Processions were brought out and meetings were held at different institutions. The government of Pakistan imposed Section 144 and banned meetings and rallies. In 1948, Dhirindranath Dotto, and he was one of the members of Pakistan Assembly, he demanded Bangla along with Urdu and English as the medium of proceedings in the assembly on 23rd February 1948. But his demand was rejected and there was a call for strike in Dhaka on 26th and 29th February. In March, Rashtra Bhasha Shangram Parishad was reformed on 2nd March at Dhaka University. In 11th March, a call for Bangla Language Day was declared and people observed Hartal on that day. At least 69 protesters, including Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, Samsul Haq, Oli Ahad of the East Pakistan Muslim Chhatra League, were arrested while they were protesting with slogans, 
we want Bangla as state language. Having no other way out, Khaja Najimuddin, who was the Chief Minister of Pakistan, signed an agreement. It was called Eight Point Agreement with the Rastropasha Shangram Porishad. My dear students, in our next screen, you will see some of the important points of the Eight Point Agreement. Number one. A proposal of declaring Bangla as one of the state languages would be tabled in Bengal Legislative Assembly. Bangla would replace English as the official language of East Pakistan. All restrictions would be withdrawn from the newspapers, etc. That time, Muhammad Ali Junjina was the Governor General of Pakistan. And he declared twice in two different places that Urdu and only Urdu shall be the state language of Pakistan. Once in a public meeting at Rescourse Ground on 21st March and second time in the convocation of Dhaka University on March 24. But he was strictly protested by the students. In January 1952, students observed strike on 30 January in protest against it. In 4th February, students declared their firm determination to continue the movement until the demand was realized. Now, let's see the incident of language movement. Actually, we will discuss now. What happened on 21st February 1952? The government of West Pakistan declared Section 144 since 21st February onwards and banned all kinds of meetings, rallies and processions for a month. But for mobilizing the movement, the students decided to violate Section 144. A meeting was held at Amthala of the University of Dhaka at 11 a.m. of 21st February. And it was decided that they would bring out small processions in turn comprising 10 persons in each. These processions approached from the Dhaka Medical College by defying Section 144. At first, the police arrested some of them, then charged baton and tear gas on the protesters. My dear students, in the picture, you can see a part of this. At one stage, the police opened fire on the protesters. As a result, Abul Borkot, Jabbar, Salam, Rafiq and others became martyrs and many others received bullet injuries. The news of killing the students on 21st February spread at Dhaka and soon throughout the country. A huge mourning procession were brought out at Dhaka on 22nd February which you can see in the photograph. Shafir Rahman became a martyr due to police assault. The mass people and the students together erected a Shahid Minar or a memorial in front of the medical college that was inaugurated by the father of martyr Shafir on 23rd February. But police demolished the Shahid Minar on 24th February. Now let's have a look the result of language movement. Basing on the language movement, a fierce protest against the Pakistan government spread throughout East Bengal, not in the field of politics only, but also in the field of art, culture, language and literature. Then the language movement turned into a violent struggle. As a result, 
the Pakistan government was compelled to recognize Bangla as one of the state languages and included Bangla in the Constitution of Pakistan in 1956. So my dear students, from the background, incident and result of language movement, we can easily get the how important the language movement is in the political history of the East Bengal or present Bangladesh. By discussing the significance, we can easily come to know our language movement is the source of inspiration. The movement made the people aware of their rights, unity and independence as it was the first movement for the emancipation from the Pakistani rule. Our language movement developed the nationalism in the mind of the people of Bengal. To build up their own identity, the Bengalis realized the importance and interrelation between the language and culture. They also started realizing the significance of politics, economy, education and culture of their own to be recognized as a nation. The 21st February has been observing as the motto day since 1952, no, sorry, 1953 throughout the country for paying tribute to the martyrs. And as you know, 21st February is also recognized internationally since 17th November 1999 when UNESCO, that is the United Nations, Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization recognized is as the International Mother Language Day. So my dear students, from our today's lesson, you can easily get the homework. Our today's homework is on three questions. Explain the background of language movement. Number two, discuss about the incident and result of language movement. Number three, explain about the significance of language movement. Please do the homework and submit it in proper time by tomorrow. Thank you for watching the class. See you in the next class. Thank you.